this week I'm going to fill you in a little bit on anxiety. Anxiety is a fairly common disorder and it is often left untreated. It is defined as anticipation of future threat. Now there are several different types of anxiety disorders and they differ from one another from in the types of objects or situations that induce fear, anxiety, or avoidance behavior. One of the most prevalent anxiety disorders is social anxiety disorder. And it is the fourth most common of all mental disorders. I've struggled with it my whole life. To put it simply, social anxiety disorder is fear or anxiety about a social situation in which an individual is exposed to possible scrutiny by others. The anxiety or fear is usually out of proportion to the actual threat. It ends up leading to the person avoiding social events. A person who has social anxiety disorder may be less assertive or may make inadequate eye contact as, as well. And they, they can also be quite submissive. So people with anxiety will often selectively attend to certain aspects of their environment and they will only pay attention to those interactions which maintain their perceptions that the world is a dangerous place, which falsely justifies their individual apprehensions or fears. So what is the cause exactly? It is actually linked to abnormal regulation of three certain neurotransmitters, serotonin, GABA, and glutamate. There are also certain drugs and substances that will cause anxiety. Keep in mind though that a little bit of anxiety is good for you. It uh, not only increases your performance, but increases our alertness as well. It becomes a disorder whenever it impairs our ability to function. So what is exactly happening during those intense anxiety situations? As you probably already know, the reaction is part of the fight or flight response. The limbic system part of our brain, which is involved in the behavioral and emotional responses, it goes on red alert. When it goes in red alert, it sends signals to the hypothalamus and the locus ceruleus, which then sends signals to the pituitary, the thyroid, and the adrenal cortex. Cortisol and adrenaline hormones are then produced, readying the body for attack. Now with a person who has anxiety, this threat is a false alarm and there's no actual threat. Another cause that can be explained is the dysregulation of the limbic system. In serotonin depletion, having excessive amounts of glutamate and having insufficient amounts of GABA. The good news is that it is treatable. What the medication does is it enables the cells in our brains to be infused with negative eons which causes the cell to relax. And when it relaxes, it initiates a calming effect. Severe anxiety disorders used to be treated with benzos, like Xanax, but those are highly addicting and people seem to misuse that drug a lot. Oh. Oh my. Drenched my face. I should have just done one squirt, my guy. I am currently on Boosperin, which treats social anxiety disorder, and I tell you what, that stuff really works. It works wonders. Before I started taking Boosperin, I wouldn't be doing this type of stuff. I wouldn't be caught dead on camera. Don't forget to follow for more facts and information on mental health disorders.